I'm going to call this meeting to order. Uh, this meeting has been advertised in accordance with New Jersey Open Public Meetings Act and is publicly accessible in accordance with law. Roll call, please. Kevin. Here. Rocco. Rocco. He's on mute. Yeah, he might be on mute, Rocco. Um, Rocco Santana. No. He's not on you. All right, go, go to the next one. Okay, David Cedadino, absent. Dr. George, absent. Sarah, absent. Maria, absent. Rosemary, I am here. Zainab, absent. Maddie, absent. Mayor Walker, here. Frank Weber, here. Thank you. I'm here too. I'm sorry. Right, okay, Rocco, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We got so it. Good to go, Kevin. Okay. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Okay. So uh, we have a quorum currently. I'm going to ask that we quickly go through our action items. At that point, we will then uh, go into an executive session. Um, so I will roll right into it with the approval of the regular meeting minutes of July 10th. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Thank you. Second. Rebel second. Thanks. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Sure. Uh, Kevin? Yes. Rocco? Abstain. Okay. Mayor? Yes. Frank? Yes. And I am a yes. Okay. Um, for the personnel, do we want to take all of these items together with the exception of G, because most of them are related. There are some resignations and then we're hiring. Yeah, um, you can certainly do that unless any of the trustees have an objection to it, Kevin. Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. So I'll ask for a motion for A through F. I will make, make a motion for A through F. Thanks, and then Rosemary can second it. Yeah. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Sure, um, sorry, Mayor? Yes. Frank? Yes. Uh, Rocco? Yes. And I am a yes. And I'm a yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Kevin. That's okay. <laughs> I, did I know it's just an alternate. All right. I missed you. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Item G, uh, FMLA uh, for an employee. Um, do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Thanks. A second? I'll second it. Thanks. Any discussion? Yeah. All right. Roll call, please. Okay. Kevin? Yes. <laughs> Rocco? Yes. Mayor? Yes. I am a yes. Frank? Yes. Thank you. Okay, we'll move on to finance. The bill listing uh, in the amount of $210,230.23. Uh, I did uh, have communication with Maria, who chairs the finance, and she did a review of it. Um, no questions to raise on the bill listing. So with that, I'll ask for a, a motion. I'll move it. Thank you. Second. Yeah. I'll second. Thanks. Roll call, please. Uh, any discussion? Sorry. Roll call, please. Sure. Rocco? Yes. Mayor? Yes. Frank? Yes. And Kevin? Yes. And I am a yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. Item B, the 2024 draft budget. Uh, Maria, who is, is uh, chairing our finance committee, is not here tonight. There are some items uh, I would like to discuss regarding the budget. Frank, I understand you've had some concerns as well. I don't want to speak for you, but is, is yeah, that, yeah. I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't act on it tonight. Uh, okay. It's because of academic. I don't think we can resolve it here. I think I'd rather right. table it. I agree. So, Frank, you're making a motion to table it. Yes. I, and I'll second that. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Sure. Um, Mayor. Yes. Frank. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Rocco. Yes. And I am a yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Old business website duplication proposal in the amount of seven thousand nine ninety five. Uh, do I have a motion? I will make that motion. Okay. One second. Thank you. Any discussion? Mm. Frank, I know you had some concerns. All all were answered, I believe. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So, uh, roll call, please. Mayor. Yes. Frank. Yes. Kevin. Yes. Rocco. Yes. I am yes. Thank you. Okay. Moving on to new business, children's furniture request in the amount of 10196 Move it. 
You know? Here. Okay. Do we have a second? I'll second. Thanks. And uh, any discussion? Yeah, I just, uh, what exactly happened? That's all. I'm just, I know I'm a little bit behind because I wasn't here last month. Can I just get caught up? Uh, but this is where I was talking. So we um, have started that process of looking at the furniture renovation for the whole building, which we're going to do the six phases. So I'll ask for um, buildings and grounds to have a meeting about that before next board meeting. In the meantime, we have some things that require immediate repair that are not going to wait until the renovation. Um, <clears throat> the computers we got for the older students, um, those need a table. And then that um, diner booth seating is not stable anymore and repairs have been attempted and they're not working. And then one of our most loved areas is the preschoolers reading table and the stools are shredded. I looked at having them reupholstered and that would cost a hundred dollars a piece. So for that price, we can get something that's never going to need upholstery right. um, and just looks much more updated. So awesome. I put them all together. Great. Great. Thank you. Yep. Anything else? Okay. Roll call, please. Sure. Frank? Yes. Kevin? Yes. Rocco? Yes. I am a yes, Mayor? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. So with that, do we have any further action items? Don, do you want to move on policy? Oh. Oh, yes. Policy, yes. Thank Rocco, you. did you want to go over that or... You can go ahead, Dawn. I looked it over. Um, I know I didn't get back to you. We didn't have a policy meeting. I felt like something of this nature, there really wasn't a necessity for a policy meeting. It's yeah. just seeming to add to some language. And I think it adds a lot of clarification. But go ahead, Dawn, explain it. Sure. So we have notary service here. But what the rest of the world, when they see that we have notary service, they assume that we do everything. And if you look at our notary policy and you look at the list of things that we don't do because we're a public library, it becomes extremely confusing for our municipal partners and for the community. And then our staff are spending up to 20 minutes trying to go through and decide, is this something that we can do? We, As an example, we had someone want a document notarized for uh, an in vitro fertilization that had financial implications and we don't do that. Mm -hmm. So um, explaining all these creates frustration on behalf of the public, on behalf of our municipal partners and on behalf of our staff. So all I've done is put the word limited, limited notary policy. Mm -hmm. And then in the policy, it lists examples. It's not exhaustive, but it, it lists examples of what we don't do. And what I wanted to do was list the three things that we do that I think are a great service to the community and especially the school district. Um, and those are the things we do most frequently. And that's our school forms, which include kindergarten and people moving in. So we basically take care of the school's notary needs. Then we do the sports forms, physical and travel, um, which I think is a great help to our parents. And then we also sign off on um, retirement forms, um, but we're we only do them in English. We frequently have people come and they're in Chinese. We can't notarize that yeah. because yeah. nobody right. here is fluent. Right. Yeah. So what it says is limited notary policy. And then I just inserted one line that says um, items that we notarize include these three things. So it just gives them three very concrete examples of exactly what we do. And Chris, I appreciate that you had thought that that might confuse people still. Um, I think it's going to bring some clarity um, and I'd at least like to give it a try and we'll certainly sure. revisit it in six months. Yeah. I mean, as, as we discussed, you, you do not have an obligation to have notary services. So if you re rephrase the policy like that, any surprise would be good news. Uh, rather than people coming in thinking it's unlimited guarantees and you're going to sign off on adoptions of children. So it is good to be upfront with the people and make as much clarification as you can. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. So, so is there a motion for accepting this? Um, I'm sorry, where did, I guess we need a motion. I'm you need sorry. a motion. Yeah. And I will make the motion uh, to update, to make the update on the policy of the notary services. 
I will second it. Thank you. So any other discussion? Yes, I wonder how many how many people are currently certified to do notarization in the library? Um, we either have or are in process of getting every one of our full timers um as a notary. So that means sorry, I'm seeing one just finished their test. Uh we've got Pam, we've got Jackie, I've got Cassidy, um, Felicia. I would say we have about six right now. And uh, is that a reduction from previous years? I believe so. Um, but once we finish with our hires and have all of our full timers um, get their certifications, we should be back up to something relatively comparable. I can give you exact numbers at the next meeting. Hey, uh, the, now, you're still saying within the policy that people can walk in, but obviously they might have to wait? Yes. All right. Um, do we send anything uh, out with, you get the, when you get an appointment request, do we send any documentation out to them to prepare them to make sure they bring the right stuff in the first place so it's not a problem? So currently, um, the, the notary appointments are made by hand. We're not doing anything electronically. And you can't analyze documents prior to the person bringing them in. So it's a little more difficult. It's not like we can advise people with passports very easily about um, rules and regulations. We can't do that with notaries until they get things in. But we certainly are offering the appointments. If someone wants to ask about something, we'll answer those questions at that time. And the only thing that we're, we're telling people is that without an appointment, we can't guarantee that a notary is available in the moment that they need them. And do you know how many notarizations we did last year? I have those figures, but not in front of me. Uh, uh, all right. I'm Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Any other discussion? So I'll, I'll ask for a roll call. Sure. Um, we, 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 we have a motion out there, right? We yes. Yeah. Rocco yeah. Rocco Rocco. I made the motion, yeah. Nice. Sorry. Okay, okay yeah. Sorry. So uh, Rocco? Yes. It's not rain, is it? Yeah. No. It's the air conditioning. That's it? it. No, it's air conditioning. Oh, oh yeah. my Lord. I was yeah. like, oh, it sounded people like people are outside. It. I thought so. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, so Rocco, I am a yes. Uh, Mayor? Yes. Frank? No. Kevin? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. So now, uh, before I, I ask the mayor if she would like to leave, um, do we have any other action items? I think that, that covers it, right? Yeah. Okay. So, Chris, my question is, do we need to take make a motion to come out of, like, regular session because then it's just going to be discussion? Yes, you you will by by absence of the mayor by lack of a quorum you will have to close your meeting, but you can continue discussions in an informal committee setting and the public is welcome to stay unless we want to discuss anything that's confidential. Right, but I I, I don't need a like a, a motion to adjourn or anything at this point. You you do. Oh, okay. So then a, a motion to come out of this regular session. A motion. Thank you. Second. Mayor? I'll second it. Thank you. Uh, I'll just ask for all in favor. Aye. 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 No, thank you. So to the public, we will continue some discussions. Uh, thank you very much, Mayor, for stopping in to help us complete this. Appreciate I'm it. Glad I'm glad I was right next door. Go. Yeah, it worked out. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Okay. Bye. Have a nice night. Right. See you outside. Okay, so let's go to, um, we've covered the minutes, the personnel. Let's go, I guess, to the director's report. Yeah, um, so I just wanted to share a couple of things. Um, I'll, I'll give more detail um, next month. Um, our library of things is pretty much ready to go. Everything from being able to borrow a pickleball paddle set from the library so that you can experiment um, with that to a micro bright microscope kit just things that you can borrow. Um, lots of libraries have them now. We had it in the past, we're just restoring it. Um, and it's really been nice to have the entire library 
get involved with this. We've made sure all staff, but this is our um, manager of branch services is, is getting this done. Um, but we're also going to have health kits, uh, brain health, blood pressure, diabetes, there'll be a, a bird watching kit. Um, and then the idea farm, we're gonna be getting um, a video to digital converter so that people can bring in their VHS tapes and camcorders and things like that and get them made digital. When you say like diabetes kits, you're talking to check your blood sugar, so your glucose levels? So we're, those kind of things, we'll be making sure that we go through with the attorney. Okay. We're looking more at like cookbooks, oh, books okay. on raising yeah, right. awareness. Right, right, right. Raising okay. awareness is All more right. what yeah, we're yeah, looking at. Like right. blood pressure, we will have a, right. a blood pressure yeah, monitor. Yeah, kind of yeah, we're making yeah. sure nothing's invasive or anything okay. like that. Okay. And then anything with the health kits. And we're also reaching out to hospitals and doctors in the area for the creation of those kits. So we're not just making it up on our own. Okay. Um, yeah, but do we're- have, uh, Do you have a contact at Hackensack? If I can get you in touch with Hackensack and Ambulance. Um, I think that Lauren's already in contact with them. I think so. Um, but it's this has been a long time coming and it's really exciting for staff um, to be able to get out and get them done. And the other thing in the idea farm is a digital film scanner um, because you can actually take, it sounds like it is there's rain. Yeah. Oh, it is rain. Yeah, there's rain. I'm sick, but that oh my goodness. Craziest okay, sorry. <laughs> We've got a deluge here and we're worried about the people. Wait, outside. Yeah, it's horrible. There's a huge event outside. There's like hundreds of people. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, well, um, getting these kinds of things. And then the other thing that we're going to be getting is uh, DVD players that people can borrow. They're not expensive anymore. They're very easy to plug in. And I think we all know that streaming services have essentially failed us um, at being expensive, not being encyclopedic or comprehensive. There's no way to make sure that you have access to the original Rocky unless you buy a DVD. Does this tie in at all with like the uh, the maker's station that yes. we used to have? Mm -hmm. like, so yeah. there'll be things like, yes. I know a couple of years ago we talked about the, what the heck is that thing called? The cricket or whatever yep. that people use oh, yeah. to make yeah. t-shirts yeah, yeah. and stuff. So you'll have stuff like that. And we still have some of the things left from the mm -hmm. idea farm. What we're doing is we're re-envisioning how the idea farm was used here okay. um, because it was kind of like you could book an appointment and come in. I want to make sure that we're maximizing traffic coming through there um, and you know that these things are also taken care of. So we've got the 3D printer. Right. We've right. got the vinyl cutter. We've got mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So this is adding to it. Right. You can borrow the DVD player. And then the tools people asked for were funny. Um, an electricity usage monitor. A stud finder. Um, so, you know, we're not give, lending hammers <laughs> or anything like that. Um, but like an emergency crank AM FM radio. Somebody's going camping for the weekend, they can borrow something like that for the library rather than having to purchase it. Too bad we don't have umbrellas because they're all coming in. We now. could, we <laughs> could, we could get umbrellas. But but absolutely. I mean, I know other libraries that have gotten involved in food stuff, like they'll have a rice cooker. I'm not washing dishes. I'm right, just letting right. everyone know yep. that's not going to happen. So, uh, an automaton musical instrument. These are all things that you'll get to see. I'll have more details next month, but staff are doing a great job with that. Um, we are the only library in the LMXAC Stella Consortium that has to replace its self-check machine. So the self-check machine is where patrons can walk up and check themselves out. Now our machine is old, it needs to be replaced anyway, but this is where, like I said, I'll be working with um, the Buildings and Grounds Committee to take a look at RFID. RFID is an investment, but it's an easier way to scan books out. And then rather than having full branches around town, you'll be able to have book lockers, or 24 hour library is utilizing the technology. So I'll be putting together a proposal for a new self check machine um, to replace what we have. And it is very much because of the transition to the new catalog that ours doesn't work the way we want it to anymore. 
So I'm getting proposals for next month for that. Um, let's see. Um, I also met with staff. So we are, we went through the personnel manual just to see where updates need to be made. Information is incorrect. And obviously those are just recommendations for the personnel committee. Um, so we're doing the legwork on that so that the committee will have an easier time of going through it. Um, one thing that I do want to point out, since we are going to have a staff member who's going to be on leave for an extended period of time, that um, on page five of that personnel manual is provision for temporary appointment where the director can make a temporary appointment for um, a position without going through the normal process of hiring because it's not permanent. So that's something we'll be working closely with the board president and with Chris on to make sure that everything is worded effectively. For those who wanna look, it's on page five of the personnel manual. Um, okay. September, just so everybody knows, is library card sign up month. Um, so we do have uh, special promotions going on and we wanna encourage everyone to come in in September to get a library card if they don't have one. So we're doing those promotions. Um, I'm getting the another policy issue, which we'll want to take a look at. I know the meeting room policy has been looked at here and debated quite a bit. Um, we had staff who were not entirely following the policy. So I've made sure that we've gone back to following the policy and that part of the policy said that everyone who uses one of our study rooms must have a library card not a driver's license showing that they live in Oldbridge, but they must have a library card. So that's the next policy I'm gonna be looking at and just asking the board questions. Does anybody remember anything about that meeting room policy with requiring cards? We updated that in May of 2023 for the last time. So it's it's been on your agendas repeatedly over the years. Yeah, okay. It's coming up again. Um, weekly emails have started going out to staff again. I'm extremely pleased about that, um, meaning that there's internal communication that's getting done that hasn't been done in a long time. So staff now get a weekly email telling them everything that's going on. So we're strengthening that formal internal communication instead of relying on um, other networks. Our newsletter um, has been well received. And the next one, our schedule is working out well. The next newsletter is ready to go to the printer tomorrow. Great. Nice. So all of that's getting done and we have people signing up and it's really nice. People are coming in and saying, oh, I didn't know that I could get this at Lawrence Harbor. Right. So I saw it in the newsletter. Great. Um, the other thing that we spent a lot of time on last week was filming for Old Bridge Television. Um, they spent a full morning here at the main branch and a full morning at the Lawrence Harbor branch. And so we are going to be featured there and we're going to be going through that. I'll be continuing to work with them um, to do some voiceover and put all of our coverage together. But they've got some really nice promotional stuff. So many thanks to Amy Alonzo and to the rest of the team who came in and worked on that. Um, and the other thing I wanted to make sure of, but maybe this is more of a question for um, the treasurer. Last year for the, the lunch, it was paid for, the Friends of the Library approved it, but it was paid for from the library's gifts and grants account that the funding for the staff lunch was taken from there. So not from any public monies. Um, so we're gonna do that again. Um, and I think that's all I have for now. Any discussion on director's report? Uh, the, mem the membership, do we do anything to police when people move out of town or they meet their maker or whatever the case may be? How do we, how do we weed out the cards that the membership said are not being used because people have left the system? 
So inactive cards are cleaned up, I believe, every three years. Or if there's th with three years of inactivity, they're taken out. And when was the last time that was done? That's something that I would need to ask our um, head of circulation. That's not a figure I keep with me at all times. Okay. Um, oh, and sorry, there is one other thing. Um, I know that Dr. George has been asking about the interest rates in the bank accounts. Yep. I do have updates on that, but I think that should probably wait for her to be present. Yeah, and, and, and we can discuss it as a part of the finance committee, I think, as well. So I think we'll get a finance committee meeting together within the next week or so, okay. from my understanding. Um, hopefully, but before the next board meeting next September, in September. Yeah. Okay. All right. All Dawn, right. I just had one question about the, um, the in the director's part, reading about the incident with the passports. Yes. Can you let us, I, again, I may have missed this because I wasn't here last month. So can you get me up to speed on that? Yes. So we had an incident uh, in the passport office where uh, we had a patron who um, was not satisfied with their service. And it's very rare that that happens. It's extremely rare. We've got outstanding policies in our passport office to make sure that information is given in advance and that people are made well aware of what they need. There was a conflict with one particular patron um, and that person called 911 on our employees. So whenever we have a customer service issue, it's something that I take very seriously and I review everything we do and what we've done and what we could have done. So I've done that with staff. When the patron called me, however, I made it very clear that I and this is for the board to consider, but I believe calling an armed first responder to a customer service dispute that has not led to any you know, really aggressive behavior is kind of an abuse of emergency services. Um, so the person is not a resident of Old Bridge. Um, I had considered anything from a recommendation to trespass the person from the library for six months, um, simply because I, I think that it puts our community, our staff, and our first responders in danger to frivolously call someone like that. Um, the other option we have is to simply let it go. The person did write a review and that was posted on our website. Um, we could also write a letter just letting the person know that that's not appropriate but it's really up to the board. So I think we'll we'll discuss this a little bit, uh, you know, further later on. Okay. All right, uh, Chris, I'll, I'll just leave it with you at this point. Yeah. 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 Okay. We, we can definitely discuss yeah. it privately. Okay. So. Um, yeah, I just think it's something we should have a discussion about down the road because uh, yeah again if, if it's a policy situation I, I really don't know this is like this kind of uncharted waters it doesn't seem like this was something that happens that would be a matter of policy but maybe having some kind of contingency plan in place if it ever happens again in the future might be a good idea yeah yeah it, it, it falls generally within your acceptable use policy but we can tell yeah. it yeah yeah and and look the, uh, the difference of opinion between the, uh, our staff person and this person um, the difference of opinion was that the the patron, the customer, says stated that they weren't given information in advance, and uh, I think I feel very comfortable saying that passports is the one area of the library where the most uniform service. So people are called, then there's a script that is read to them. There is an email of confirmation that tells them what information they need to bring. There are multiple points at which the information is communicated. Um, and the person, when they arrived for their appointment, they had not uh, followed the instructions or completed their information. They were given an extension of time. And then there were um, additional areas where the person was given instruction and didn't follow it and given instruction and didn't follow it. 
and they became increasingly frustrated. Um, and we do need to make sure that our staff are aware that if they're doing everything that they can um, and a person is still frustrated, they need to call in a supervisor yeah. and not try to handle it themselves. Yeah. Does that answer your question, Frank? Yes. Okay. And Dawn, just uh, bring up another point. You're planning another staff full day training session, and I'm sure that you'll use this as an example and, and try to do an additional training on how to handle the, these types of situations, correct? 100%. And I've told that employee that I'm actually going to ask them mm -hmm. to go over this incident in depth okay. at our training session so that we learn from it. Yep. Okay, uh, any, anything else from the director's report that anyone would like to discuss? Okay, um, so where are we? Uh, committee reports, um, we'll quickly go through these. Buildings and grounds, Rocco? Uh, nothing for now, but uh, apparently we have a lot to discuss next month for next before next month's meeting. Okay, finance, uh, as I mentioned, Maria is not here and we, we need to discuss the budget a little bit further. We'll take care of that. Outreach and marketing, Frank? Um, you know, we, we're we still looking to do something out in South Old Bridge, and that's where that has to interface with what our capital dollars are. And we have to sit down with the township, whether it can be a modification of the building on Marlboro Road, which uh, has enough size to be comparable to Lawrence Harbor and had more parking than Lawrence Harbor does. Uh, and uh, that would relieve a lot of the burden of transportation for people getting, having to come to the central library after school hours, you know, between four o'clock and six o'clock. Uh, so, uh, you know, that, we, that needs to go forward and I'll be happy to talk to the uh, township okay. and see what they're willing to do. And then we have to see what portion of it is going to fall back on us right. uh, financially. Okay. Um, personnel negotiations, Sarah's not here, but I know we haven't had a personnel meeting and uh, I know Chris has mentioned that we'll be coming up with negotiations soon. So nothing at this point to discuss. Policy, Rocco, I know we discussed some items there and more to come. All right, we're good. We're good with the policy for right now. With um, And if yeah. we decide to have a discussion about the whole passport thing, that will, that will come yeah. up, but we're good right now. Okay, and then technology, Frank. Um, where do we stand with technology committee meeting coming up? Um, we, uh, now we're going to have the website done. We have our servers done. We have all of our big projects with it are up to date. So once we get the server migration done, then we're going to be preparing a five-year plan so that this way there aren't going to be any more surprises. We know that every year we'll be purchasing 10 new computers and, and that kind of thing. Um, one other thing is that, uh, I am going to be purchasing some laptops, but they're all within the director's discretion. Um, we want to start doing some really great projects um, and they're te technology dependent, like roving reference, having a, a standing desk on wheels so that people can walk around and approach patrons who are here to see if they need help rather than waiting for people to come to the desk at a point of service. They've got some really great ideas. Um, and But like I said, all that stuff is within director's discretion. Okay, thank you. Okay, so I will go to public comments. Anyone from the public would like to speak? Going once, going twice. Okay, so with that, uh, the remaining board members that are on here, uh, we are going to go into somewhat of an executive session to discuss a few items. Uh, obviously, without a quorum, no action will be taken. Um, so at this point, we will dismiss the members of the public. And we'll uh, just so, so the trustees just hold on a few moments. Okay. Um, thank you, everyone. Have a good thank night. Thank you.